So if I look at the first reaction here in this topic, I've got a solution of this and a solution of this, and I form two products. One of the products is soluble, but one is insoluble. I would call that a precipitate. So when I have two reacting solutions, two soluble substances as reactants, and one insoluble product, one or more insoluble product, that is a hint that I have a precipitation reaction. Now this precipitation reaction is also an example of a double replacement reaction because this cation is now swapped with that anion to form magnesium nitrate and this cation, the lead 2 plus, is swapped with the iodide cation to form lead 2 iodide. So this is actually a yellow precipitate that would come out when these two solutions are mixed. Here I have this really really big uh, molecular compound here reacting with oxygen, molecular oxygen. Look at our products, CO2 and H2O. The combustion of hydrocarbons like this one, when burning in oxygen, will always produce these two products. So that is a hint that I have a combustion reaction. I see our two telltale products of combustion reactions. Okay? Here I have sodium reacting with bromine. They combine to form sodium bromide. This is clearly a combination reaction. Here again, I have a hydrocarbon that's our molecular compound, methane, burning in the presence of oxygen to form our telltale products of a combustion reaction. Again, this would be combustion.